everyone, my name is Hafo, and today we've got an After Effects tutorial. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do the wiggle effect. It's really simple. I just thought I'd do one, put one up for you guys, because I know I haven't posted one in about a week. And I didn't want to let you guys go without a tutorial. So, uh, yes, let's get started. So, uh, I've already prepared, like, a cinematic. Uh, it's basically one of the ones from the, uh, the cinematics pack, so you can try it yourself. I've just twixted the dude running, uh, added some depth of field, some particles, some no light factory, and a bit of color correction. So it's nothing special, but it looks pretty sick nonetheless. And uh, yes. <laughs> um, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to select the layer that we want to wiggle. Shake that booty, wiggle. Yeah, you getting me? Yep. So we're going to go to transform because uh, we're going to click the drop down, of, uh, transform. And then click, holding Alt, sorry, holding the Alt key, click on the stopwatch next to position, or whatever you want to wiggle. I'm going for position. And I'm just going to type in, in this little bar here, wiggle, open bracket, and I'm going to go 1, um, now nah, let's go for 2, and then 1. Basically the first number is, like, how much you want the, um, the number to basically change. So this number here is two, uh, 670. That means the variation will be two, like two numbers out. So it might be 2668, no, 668 or 672. And the one means how many, uh, how often, so that's once per second, so it'll vary. If you get what I'm saying. So you'll see that it, basically you'll see this little number here. It starts to change for the different parts. And that's just basically wiggling it around the really easy way without the keyframe at all. Uh, you can do it with anything. You could... Oh, yeah. Say if you wiggle this, um, your layer, your clip layer, rather than having to do it to all the rest of them, what you can do is you can just parent them. So if I wanted to wiggle this adjustment layer as well, I could pair, drag that onto the... Drag that adjustment layer. I'm just going to basically drag all my adjustment layers. So they will wiggle too. So it's not just the clip and it won't look dodgy. Um, you can. I've got a no light on here somewhere. There it is. If I wanted to, I could make the... You often see on montages and whatever, you see like a no light and it's like... It's going up and down, it's getting brighter and then getting a bit darker. So it's kind of like, obviously moving. Not moving, just changing in brightness. So they've wiggled that most likely. So you can just, as I say, click Alt on the little stopwatch. Oh, I didn't mean that. So, and now, why is it doing? Oh, here we go. What the freaking hell is it doing that for? Alt, and then click it. There we go. Then we're gonna go wiggle once again. Open bracket. I'm gonna go five on this one, and then once per second. And you will see the light. You probably can't see it very well, but it does. It wiggles the light. Um, changing the value of the light. So I know this has been a really short, simple tutorial. Um, it's really easy, but just a really, really useful one. I know I've mentioned it in other tutorials. But, uh, yes, uh, this week we should hopefully have a tutorial from Solar Sam, which would be something good. Um, so, yeah, he's got. he'll probably have something nice to uh, show you. So yeah, stay subscribed, or subscribe if you haven't, or yeah, whatever. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to mention, but I do not think so. No, that's it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.